10 rounds is the defending champion, Jeff Bacon. And he is in that position because of diving like this, Janet, in the eighth round. Yes, this is the inward three and one half somersault in the tuck position, a difficult dive. You have to jump solid and spin really quickly, just inches away from the tower, and then go into the water. And he did a great job here. An excellent dive throughout, a nice clean entry. That dive putting 78.72 in the bank for Bacon, running his total of 454 with one dive remaining. Fernando Henderson is second. Frederick St. Pierre is sitting in third position. Now the final dive for St. Pierre. He needs sevens for first place temporarily. And Steve, this diver has only been diving three years. That's an amazing feat to be getting to this position so quickly. He loves to compete and he's an extremely focused person. A great skill set. That was a miss, though. It was not a good start on the dive. He jumped out a little bit too far, and he just lost his concentration partway through. A little bit of that inexperience coming through. We can see here he's not moving well. His, he comes out miles too early, almost at the double somersault, and he just can't make it. And the scores for St. Pierre, five fours, two four and a half for a total of 33.21. Looking now at Tony Brevet, a 20-year-old from B.C. And this is a new dive he's performing, but in the prelims, he went way past the vertical. It was a very bad entry on the bottom. Oh, Steve, that really hurts. He came out at the triple somersault. He was anticipating. He was nervous about the dive. He remembers what happened in the prelims, and he just came out way too early. He's spinning well here, but look where he kicks out at the water. He never puts his head back, so he takes it all as a big slap on his back. Look at the bruises we can see coming already. That really hurt. The top mark, one and a half. Now, the leader in the competition, who may be feeling a little heat as defending champion. I'm at with everybody else, um, and just tells me basically how, how well I've trained so far, and, and, and also it tells me for the future what I have to do, you know, in terms of my training schedule and in terms of uh, maybe honing some, some uh, competition skills as well. For some unknown reason, I put pressure on myself, and I felt that, um, you know, everybody's looking at me now and, and saying, oh, here's the big guy, you gotta, you gotta catch him. So it's kind of weird, I've never had that experience before. Um, I think, though, uh, through my practices and stuff, that, uh, you know, my skill level has gone up this year and, and I'm feeling very comfortable with my diving. And he certainly looked comfortable with his diving in Quebec City. Jeff Bacon, a 23-year-old student at Langara College in Vancouver. And this is the back one and one half somersault with three and one half twists, the DD 3.2. This week he told me that he was trying to build his confidence level, be more in control in the competition, not let the nerves get to him. So let's see how he does on this final dive. A very good job on the dive. It was a little bit too much splash on the entry, but it was going in perfectly up on the, in the vertical. Here's Bashi Liang. He's pleased with the job. A strong takeoff into a good twisting action. It's moving very smoothly, but as he lines up, he's casting just a bit, and that brings up a little bit of splash. The scores from the seven judges of poolside, four six and a halves, three sevens for a total of 64.32. The final dive now for 27-year-old Fernando Henderson, who represents the Nepean Club in Ottawa, and he's diving for second place. And this is the arm stem double somersault in the pike position and he actually dies for the Dominican Republic he's a citizen of the country he trains here and has been up here for the last three years a good dive a nice clean entry on the bottom it's not a very difficult dive to finish your list with but he will receive some good scores don't think he quite held that handstand long enough he didn't seem to be set no, he's wobbling in the handstand. The judges need to see a good hold for at least three seconds. But the rest of the dive was well performed. And the score is for Henderson, one four and a half, three five and a halves, and three sixes for a total of 41.04. Bashi Liang still smiling and obviously pleased with the effort of Jeff Bacon in winning the men's tower. Bacon finishes 36 points in front of Henderson. Frederick St. Pierre, a distant third. Now, let's go down to poolside and join Janet with the winner. Jeff, your second national title. How did it feel this time? Uh, it felt pretty good. Um 
it actually felt better as I went along. I came out a bit flat today. Uh, my body's been a bit sore from some, some injuries I've been uh, kind of fighting with, but I picked it up, so it felt not bad in the end. Going into your last dive, was there anything that you were trying to do, just put it in, or did you feel like you needed a lot of points, or just do a good dive? I just uh, basically concentrated on doing good dive. Uh, ended up being a little bit less than what I had hoped for, but, you know, in the end, it, it all came out good.